Hey guys, M. Smith here. Today's video, we're going to be making something pretty cool, and it's going to be super simple. This is probably going to be one of our shortest videos ever. We're going to be making uh, Wolverine claws. So basically, uh, you all probably know who Wolverine is. He's the guy who wears the yellow suit, and he has those like sh claws that come out of his knuckles like sh Obviously, we're not going to make them come out of our knuckles, yet we might revisit this. Like many of our other projects, we're probably going to revisit it. But basically, we can just hold it, kind of like it is in the Hacksmith's video. So yeah, we're basically going to be making the um, Wolverine Claws. So, uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, let's start. Let's go! Before we start today's video, remember to go down here, like and subscribe or subscribe from here and click that notifications bell to be notified for all of our videos okay guys so uh this video as i said it's gonna be a bit short because this is actually a pretty easy build this is something you can do at home easily all you need actually is this tin foil so this is the same tin foil we used for the last video which was the um captain america wakandan shield and uh, yeah, so basically for the Wolverine Claws, we're gonna take this first strip and this is gonna be one, uh, two claws. The, about this much should be two claws. So I'm just gonna take this screwdriver. All you just need is something to make the line. I'm just gonna cut a little, like make a little incision. And this will sound really bad, and it'll give you goosebumps. It'll be like nails on a chalkboard, <laughs> like horrible sound. So, but it's it's fine because it's worth it for the claws. So about this much for each. Actually, this time I'm gonna use scissors because that sound really hurt. Okay, so we have these four strips of tin foil. Uh, so let me put three of them aside. These three will come in handy later. This is the first one. So our claws are gonna be about this big, but we want them to be thicker. So we're gonna first do this. This will make them thicker around our hands. Then we're gonna do this. This, this, and we're just gonna fold them. And we want them to be at about two centimeters thick, about, yeah. Cause that's around how thick we want it. But that's just for my fingers. You probably, you might have like smaller hands or bigger hands. I don't know, it depends. My hands are like this. So I'm just gonna be making claws that are about this big yeah so my claws are just gonna be about this big um yeah like this and then this part actually we're gonna have it fold in and um we're gonna take our scissors so this part which we folded a bit from the front that will come back that's gonna cut up to become our Claw. So this will be our main Wolverine claw. So that was pretty simple. And now, now once I've done this, uh, yeah. Now that we have this shape, this tiny shape of a claw, we're just gonna have to do this about two more times. So let's do that. Okay, so now that we've taken these parts and hammered them down, um, so we have our three parts, our new parts, uh, these ones. These will be the claws for our Wolverine, uh, for our Wolverine claws. And 
basically, uh, all that's going to happen is these will come through and um, there'll be like this bar down here, which will go through our fist while we hold them. First thing we have to do is make a connection piece. So let's just take some of the scrap pieces like this. Cut it up. We only need a bit. And then fold it into little, little bits that will just fit between our fingers. Ready? Uh, these will connect underneath the tin foil. So these will go like this. And then here the bar will go through. So this will go, this will come here, this piece. And this piece will come here. So they'll just connect at that triangular part. So first thing we have to do, I'm just gonna uh, take some duct tape. So this duct tape will allow us to just connect these parts. So all we want is to connect these. And it's okay that the duct tape will show because basically we're gonna take like another piece of this shiny tin foil and cover this up so you won't even be able to see the duct tape. So let's do this. Okay, well, now that we've got these parts glued, to, uh, stuck together with the tape, uh, as you can see, we've just taken some tape and put them on. Now, I can kind of hold them, so like this, and like this, and like this. So, that looks good. Yep, pretty good. Basically, that's the shape we want. So now all we have to do is we're going to take these, this tin foil and we're going to make like this bar out of it. And that bar is going to go down here and it will connect through all these and these parts will just curve up like this and connect to the bar from down here. So basically these parts will curve up like I've done right now and these will connect to the bar from here. So if this wood was the bar, as I said like here and then from there uh it would go it would like be i could just grip onto the bar instead of having to like like tighten my hands around these so i could do like and i could still scratch people with the claws so let's quickly make a bar with this well now that we've got this bar ready, all we have to do is attach it. So it's a good thing that I bent these parts up because now it'll just be easy. All we have to do is tape them together. So these two go around my, this finger, my pointing finger, index finger, whatever you call it. So I'm just gonna take a bit of tape and I'm just gonna make a line of tape and that line of tape will come around. 3,000 years later. There you have it. That's our little connection. These will be our claws. And then this will connect to the bottom. So let's quickly tape that together. Okay. Well, now that I've used a bit of hot glue and lots of tape, I've got this all done. Um, as you can see, I've glued on this so that it stays at a normal pace and my hands can easily wrap around it and now i have this but obviously it looks kind of weird and dull with the gray tape on it or silvery tape i guess but still the shi it's shinier when it's with tin foil so let me quickly put on a layer of tin foil and then i'll get back to you with this build well now it's shiny it has more it has another layer of tin foil on it also so it's much harder before i could bend them bend them much more easy and they're also pretty pointy they're sharp so if i point you if i poke you with this you don't want to get poked by this actually so actually these are as shiny as the wakandan shield so i like that i like shiny stuff i'm kind of a barracuda so um yeah this is a nice build so i guess m smith this is a build well done well guys that was an awesome build we made these nice wolverine claws um they're pretty easy to make all you need is uh some tape 
and some tin foil. Maybe if you want to make it more secure, add some hot glue like I did over here. But basically, it's pretty easy. I'm actually going to make another one just so that I have like the pair like but uh, maybe later. This was this was super cool to make. This was super fun and I loved this build. Um and it was so easy to make. So that's kind of why I liked it. And this has been my shortest video ever. So um I guess I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to like, subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be notified for all my cool M Smith projects. And well, thanks for watching guys. M Smith out.